Ah, Marcus Conti reporting from Central Park. Ah, what am I doing here today? <laughs> Check those two buildings out. See that? One building, the big one, and then the one next to it, the little shorter building right there. See that building? I'm right in the middle of the park. That's the building that went to, um, that's the, that is the most expensive 220 Central Park South. $238 million for the penthouse. Some guy just bought it. What's his name? Kenneth Griffin of Citadel. Pow, thirty two hundred and thirty eight million dollars. Wow, man. How you doing? <laughs> two hundred thirty eight million dollars. How you doing, man? How's your how's your fucking apartment doing? How's your how's your how's your how's your, how's your room in your mother's house? Hold on, let me put my glove on. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> so I'll take a little walk around Central Park, show you guys some sights. But um, let's just. I want to do just some quick news right now because it's cold and I'm, and it's there's really nothing going on other than Trump folding like a lawn chair. Ho, ho, ho. Did I say it? Did Trump fold? I don't know, man. What happened with the wall? Eh, let's go this way. So, so Trump, there I am. Trump conceded, right? He said, we will negotiate, right? Now he's negotiating. No wall. Gave the, uh, he gave Congress and Senate three weeks to give him his fucking wall. <laughs> or he's going to shut down the government again. So the government's over. All Democrats can stop crying. That, um, hold on a second. I'm competing with two dogs right now. How are you, mate? And um, it's crowded up here on Saturday. So... What, did I, what was I saying? Oh, so Trump gave the, the Democrats are, are crying, oh, federal, federal employees, they're not going to get paid. It was already decided that they would get paid. So no, there's no love lost there, right? There's no love lost at all. So everybody gets paid. Trump gave them, th they got three weeks to produce the fucking wall. Give us our wall. Give us our wall. Uh, so what else is going on? So that's... Uh, some will say that's not capitulation. That's Trump playing 4D chess. Playing 4D chess. I don't know about that. <laughs> looks like a little. Looks like he, he's he's running scared. Mexico is going to pay for that wall. Now Democrats better pay for the wall, or else. So what else is going on? So you got the yellow vest. Act 11. Act 11. Yellow vests. Gilets jaunes, les gilets jaunes in France, going crazy right now, right? So it's uh, it's going on. I was just watching RT. Got some. Oh, I've, I'm, <laughs> you guys are not used to seeing the uh, horses. I'll give you some horse. You want some horse? I'll give you some horse. Got some horse for you. Ready? I'm not a fan of that. You know, who wants to pull a truck? Pull a Pull a wagon the whole life, right? So anyway, here's Central Park. Uh, see the lake? You want to see the lake? Oh, it's frozen. That's usually that's the uh, boat pond. <sighs> Go down by Bow Bridge too. So what else? So Yellow Vest Act 11. Yellow Vest is not yielding. Not yielding. Unlike the it's interesting, the, the comparison between the yellow vests. I talked about it yesterday. I'm not going to get too deep today because I'm just not in the mood. But the yellow vests and the parallel between yellow vests and what's going on in Venezuela is, uh, is rather interesting. One is, one is well, both, both are the people holding their ground to oust oligarchy. And in both cases, you see the oligarchy fighting back to claim that it's that their move is for the people. So it's incredible, incredible uh, contradiction when you get down to it. So there's no no violence, no bombs right now. Uh, as of now, I don't know, 11 o'clock New York time, 11 a.m. And uh, in France, there's a lake. Uh, San Remo. Those used to be the uh, the other two twin towers 
<laughs> before the uh, they knocked down the other two, those were the only, those were the original two Twin Towers, San Remo. You can see uh, right behind the trees over there. That's uh, that's uh, where John Lennon lived. So what else is going on? So Roger Stone. Ooh, Roger Stone. Guys, <laughs> okay, so, uh, they guy want they want to play dangerous, right? They want to play. They want to live their lives on the edge. Ah, him and Corsi, right? They're such. They're so brave with their mouths. And now they got they got uh, <laughs> they got the the Russian witch hunt coming down on them. Hey, look, you know, you want to play, you got to pay, right? So, Roger Stone, a Trump Confederate, during the 2016 campaign and before that too. Trump loved those guys, Corsi, and hold on, let me blow my nose. Right? Trump loved those guys. And where's Trump now? I don't know. Maybe they maybe they got a deal. I don't know. But uh, so Mueller's team came down on on uh, Roger Stone with 17 FBI cop cars, arrested him, shackled him, brought him into court, criticized his clothing, said he wasn't fancily dressed. This is Bo Bridge, by the way. This is Spider-Man Bridge. Remember the movie Spider-Man? Spider-Man lands in New York. Let's see if you can see it from the side. <laughs> That's Bull Bridge. So, uh, a lot of people get married on that bridge. Won't be seeing me there <laughs> anytime soon. <laughs> so, so Roger Stone. What do you do? He's he's fighting. He's fighting to stay out of the, out of the witch hunt. That's crazy, you know. There's no, there's no reason why they're harassing these guys, right? It's, 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 uh, it's funny, but it's incredibly sad because, what did they do that that, you know, Hillary Clinton or the corrupt Democrats didn't do ten times worse, you know, in terms of lying and lying to Congress. Right, they're they're press people. They stretch the truth a little bit. A little yellow journalism, and now they're getting they're getting locked up. You didn't give us your sources. Locked up. Lock them up. Right. So just a little more on Venezuela. UN just voted to continue with talks to uh, to discuss what is going on in Venezuela, and nine out of I think there was nine nine to four. They voted to continue with the talks. Russia opposed it. Of course, I don't even think China's at the table. Okay. So all of Europe is co coalescing behind the U.S. All the South American countries, Latin American scaredy cat countries that depend on the U.S. for everything, you know, subsidies and trade. And they don't want to fuck around. They're, throw, they're throwing Venezuela, Venezuela and Maduro are getting thrown under the bus. Okay. That's the way it is. That's capitalism. It's like... You're either with us or you're against us. Pompeo is down there at the uh, at the UN. You know, just the, the fear. The CIA guy talking, it's socialism and, and, and every, they're going to eat, their, they're eating their kids and their dogs and their pets. Right? They're doing all this shit, right? And you got to save them. You got to save the people. Save the people. Right. A lot of lying, a lot of lying going on. This guy playing his box. Squeeze box. Mama's got a squeeze box. Daddy never sleeps at night. <laughs> so what else is going on? So YouTube. Shadow banning. Nathan Stoltman at uh, Lift of Al is reporting. That, I mean, I, I, we all know this. Everybody who, who uh, puts their stuff out on YouTube knows that you get, it's selective, selective, right? Whose videos are going to get shown is a selective process. And nobody knows exactly how that selection process happens. This guy's pretty cool.
we're in, so we're underneath the. Uh, oh, I forgot to show you the fountain. <laughs> One of the most uh, iconic things in the park. I almost missed it. Walk right by it like it wasn't even there. So this is the fountain. Bedez the fountain in the middle. See the fountain. Beautiful fountain. It's usually water shooting out of it, but it's 30 degrees out right now. <laughs> so, so YouTube shadow banning people. That kind of sucks, right? I don't know. Half of the videos that I do are not monetized. Not by my choosing. They get demonetized. Because you're not talking about the establishment-friendly topics, right? That's where we're at. See, that's, that's the new form of censorship. Oh, you want to make money? You want to make, you want to make $5 on your, on your video? <laughs> Which, that's all it really amounts to anyway. Right? Or, or you, want to do, you want to speak your mind and get nothing. <laughs> I choose to speak my mind and rely on you, the community, to contribute, to continue to hear the truth. See, we can, we can overcome that. It's not that big of a deal, really. You know, if people, if people kick in to hear the news, this kind of news, real news, then it's not really a problem. Let YouTube, you know, shadow ban and, you know what I mean? It's word of mouth anyway. That's how it kicks, that's how things really take off. So I'm up in the middle of the park. There's some kind of event up here. I don't know what it is. The only other thing is uh, Bernie Sanders is in the news again. Some kind of leak inside his com his his inside circle leaked that Bernie Sanders may run for president. Well, we already know that. He, we know that. It's no that's no surprise. He's not going to announce right away anyway. He's going to announce in the spring. And can he beat Trump? I don't know. Fat chance, but it will make an interesting. It'll be an interesting run to watch the Democrats cheat him again and, and watch the same progressives roll over for a belly rub when they get cheated. That's an ICE Empire State Building. ICE. Sorry. I'm right in the frame. I can do that. I'm from New York. So that's what's going on in the uh, in the world today. I think I covered all my points. <laughs> yeah. So I'm uh, over here in the middle. This is interesting too. See these trees right here? These are all uh, uh, Dutch elm trees, right? Central Park has one of the largest collections of elm trees in North America, right? But there's a bug, right? All across North America, there's a bug that kills them, you know? It's the uh, Dutch, Dutch beetle, right? Some kind of beetle from, from Holland. <laughs> the Dutch bug can um, eat them and kill them, right? That's their, their biggest enemy, right? And everybody wonders, well, in, in Central Park, these elms have never been touched by the uh, Dutch elm bug, right? And everybody wonders why. What, how come the bug, how come the bug doesn't get in? Oh, well, there's a reason for that, right? See? This is beautiful, right? Beautiful old elm trees. So the reason is that the bug can't get into Central Park from Holland is because the flight is too expensive. Parabing. So this is the mall. You've probably seen this thing in a hundred movies. Right. Walk in the mall, walk in the mall. Shakespeare's at the end of it. How far are we going already? Oh. 15 minutes of nothing. <laughs> 15 minutes of nothing but talk. Now I do have a secret weapon in my pocket. I got my Make America Great Again hat on. 
not on, but in my pocket. And I might just pull that out later. I'm not sure. Do a little interviewing with the hat. But uh, so there's some extreme wealth up here, right? These all these all these billionaires live around the park. Central Park used to be segregated, you know. It used to be, it used to be uh, the horse and carriage trails for the rich people and then the walking trails for the poor people because they never wanted the rich and the poor to cross. So we're coming back to that, right? We're coming back to that kind of society where the rich and the poor don't mix anymore. Here you have mostly, you know, poor you know, people with some money work a little bit, get some money. And then you have the, you know, the cultural snobs, the cultural elites. Those are the, you know, hundred, two hundred thousand dollar a year people that will, 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 they're the, the attack dogs. They'll, they'll do and say anything to get near those billionaires, right? And the billionaires are insulated from it through those cultural elites. Rachel Maddow and you know, those guys, the, the press, the media. Right? Rich history in New York. The poets, this poet row. Forget their names. <laughs> I'll kill it when we get to the end, Shakespeare, in a couple of minutes. So many movies, you can't even count them. How many movies were made in this uh, park? You get a better look at that uh, $238 million home. Check this guy out. This rubber burns. Oh, la, 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 la. And right behind them, those are the, uh, that little building right there, that's the $238 million penthouse, four floors. Four floors in the sky. Oh, yeah. Down there is the uh, Stuart Little pond, pond, you know, from the movie Stuart Little. And this is Shakespeare. Oh. Ah, uh, Shakespeare. Shooting right into the light. There he is. Hello, William. William Shakespeare. Needs no introduction. So, that's really it. The world is, hasn't fallen apart yet yet and uh, we'll keep it going I'll be back later Marcus Conti reporting from Central Park New York City